Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a post lap band update. It has been about two years and five months since I've had my lap band. Um, if you guys have watched my previous video, I explained that I am considering getting the sleeve done, which is still a process that I'm considering. I'm sorry guys, it is like I don't even know what time it is at night and I'm just I wanted to do this. it's 10 o'clock at night and I've been wanting to do this video all day but I have been busy doing other things things that need to be done and I'm just not all there I don't feel as peppy as I normally am and I'm just mentally drained but anyway I know some of you guys like to see the updates of my lap band journey and you know it's not easy no one said it was um <laughs> but anyway today I had a cardiologist appointment sorry <sighs> sorry I'm just whoo I'm just oh I don't know I've just felt a little flush I need to walk out the room I <laughs> I've been kind of on and off all day like I don't know if the weather is playing tricks with my body or what I'm just not feeling my energetic self for the last few weeks I've been a little bit more energetic to get things done and all that stuff but today and last night I've just been feeling some type of way but anyway sorry um yes um so yes so okay so I saw what the hell was I okay so I went to see um my APRN the person that I see my post-op person and I saw her and I did make a mention, you know, I know you gave me an unfill and you still won't tell me the number. And she kind of danced around it and I said, all right, I got you. I said, don't worry, whatever, whatever. I had an attitude. I was like real stank that day. And, you know, I explained to her, I was like, I'm, I am doing better. I'm doing a lot more activity as well. And I was telling her, mind you, we had already discussed why I was considering the sleeve. And I told her that, you know, I'm, I'm really sick and tired of kind of fighting myself. I, I know I went in with great intentions getting the lap band. I wanted to be more in control of how I lose my weight. And kind of, I, I like the fact that, you know, you can get a fill and an unfill if you're feeling some discomfort and stuff like that. And, you know, it, it was kind of like a test to see if I can do this weight loss thing. And if, and if in the long run I needed to get another surgery, I was down to do that. It was never a thought in my mind that, you know, I was going to. Um, it's not like I planned it or anything like that, but I always was realistic with myself. Like, what if, for instance, the band just wasn't working after a while? After, like, maybe five or six years, the band just wasn't doing what it was supposed to do, or maybe it was too loose? Then, yes, I would consider another kind of surgery. So... I wasn't unrealistic with it, but I wasn't expecting to want to go into the sleeve or to do another kind of surgery just within two and some change, two years and some change out. So, you know, it's upsetting to me because I am my own worst enemy and I am very hard on myself. But anyway, so I kind of was bitchy with her. I had already explained to her why I had wanted, why I was considering the sleeve. It wasn't like a, a definite but this time around, I said, you know, I still want to talk to my doctor, which is my surgeon. And um, his name's Dr. Tischler. He's awesome. And I did tell her, I was like, you know, I want to speak with Dr. Tischler as well. I was like, I got your opinion about it. Or lack thereof. Whatever. And she was like, well, what is it that you're looking for with the sleeves? So I told her, I was like, I'm just tired. And I was getting emotional. I was like, I'm just tired of fighting myself. Like, I, I always feel stuck. Or I always feel hungry. Like it's it. I can't have one good day without maybe having a episode where I'm feeling like real tight around my chest area or starving Marvin. So it's it's annoying because you know you want your band to work for you, and I try everything from eating mushies, which they don't want me to do that all the time. They don't want me to depend on mushies. Um, I drink too many fluids a day, so that's never going to be an issue as far as fluid intake goes. And I hope it's not going to be an issue if I decide to get the sleeve. But, um, you know, I've tried everything. I try to cook my foods a little softer. I chew, chew, chew. People watch me eat. They know I don't eat like, oh, you know, like I don't deep throat my food. But um, <laughs> anyway, it just, I was upset because I had to explain myself to her again. And I didn't understand where she was coming from because I told her I'm tired of fighting with myself. You know, I feel like I'm constantly, you know, upset because I'm always feeling hungry or I'm when I do eat I get stuck and I can't 
you know, I can get up and walk around, but then I'll take a bite and then I'll feel discomfort. Even though I'm still hungry, I have to force myself to stop eating because I'm uncomfortable. And then I just deal with being hungry and uncomfortable. So I explained that to her and she was like, well, what do you mean? And I'm like, w what? I said, I just told you. It was like, I'm having discomfort. I want to consider something else that may help me out. I may not get stuck. I may not get hungry enough. She's like, well, what do you mean by that? Listen, I just, some of you guys that are on my personal Facebook have seen this little rant video that I made. I just don't do stupid well. Do not act stupid around me. Do not act foolish. Do not act like, did, did he, do not act, just don't act that way around me. It just, pisses me off to no one because here I am pouring my heart out to you saying you know I I just I'm not happy anymore like I'm in pain I'm uncomfortable I just I want to see what the other options are are you comfortable with that and she can't even answer that question she's like well I just you know with the sleeve you might still get hungry you know the hunger goes away after a while and then you'll get your hunger back I mean I would assume that you know I would get hungry again and I know with lap band and the gastric bypass people have gained that weight back I know that I'm not even asking for all that I told her I want to be comfortable on an everyday basis knowing that because one day I was able to eat this amount of food that the next day I should be able to eat this amount of food, not this, or to throw everything up. And I was just looking at her like, why do you keep asking me the same question? I'm answering you the best way I can. And it's like, I had enough. I said, well, you know what? I got your opinion. I want to meet with Tischler. All of a sudden, okay. So I'm meeting with my doctor in a couple weeks. And all of a sudden, she's referred me to my dietitian. I had a cardiologist this week. It hasn't even been five days since, well, five business days since I've gone to my doctor's office. So, you know, it's just so funny to me. Like, I kind of had to almost, like, lose my shit on her ass in order for her to even acknowledge that, you know, I'm, I'm bothered here. Like, you're pissing me the fuck off. You're not being honest. You're just pussyfooting around the fucking situation like just tell me what you think that's why I asked you in the first place now I don't want to know what you think now I'm just I want to talk to my doctor I, I was done it just who listen <laughs> I could be nice yes <laughs> just doesn't happen but anyway that's that I saw the cardiologist today um, and I was mortified because I was like, oh my God, they're going to kill me. They're going to put me on a treadmill. I'm going to pass out. And then my shirt's going to like lift up and you're going to see my rolls. Like I'm just thinking of the worst thing ever. And it's comical, but I was like, oh my God, I had to mentally prepare for that. So I go in, they do an EKG. Nothing's changed from the previous EKG. So I was having issues a few months ago, like maybe six months ago. And I... All is well, I am taking care of myself. I am taking my blood pressure pills. That's one thing I've been compliant with. So my body has been just better. My blood pressure hasn't been, you know, high. I, I do notice some days I've had headaches, but I don't know if that's due to my stressors and that's kind of what I think it is. But anyway, I digress. Yes, so <laughs> I saw the cardiologist and he actually didn't even work me up. He says he's comfortable with clearing me for surgery nothing has changed he's seen me um i've had an echocardiogram done many many moons ago a few years ago so he actually has those results he has all my records so he felt comfortable with clearing me for surgery so that's good <laughs> um i have a dietitian or my first dietitian appointment in, G in january whoa in june and i don't know how many i have to do before i can just have everything sent out to the insurance company for approval but it was so freaky when they called me they're like oh yeah um we're doing a you need to see the cardiologist for a pre-op and I was like what like I wasn't expecting that <laughs> um I know that she had given me a referral for a psychiatrist because you have to see a psychiatrist and I'm a little crazy and for the diet for the dietitian so I knew that that was gonna happen sooner or later but when the cardiologist calls I was like oh shit she took me seriously one about time and two I was a little shocked but anyway that's neither here nor there now ever since my unfill I have gained weight of course I have um I am better at eating I can eat 
a lot more if that makes sense like I can eat I can actually enjoy a decent meal with my family the only thing is um, for the last two nights I have been noticing that I just get that that pressure on the bosom <laughs> on my esophagus like as if I'm starting to get stuck I have PB twice since my unfill and I hate PB I it just it's like the death of me like I can't even deal and it's happened. I have thrown up my food twice since the unfill, so I know that there's still some fluid in the band. But, you know, I think because I was eating too fast because I was hungry and I wasn't, you know, checking myself and thinking back. But for the last few days, I have been good. I have been back on my fitness pal. Like, I'm trying to catch up because I do remember for the most part what I've eaten and how much. And I write it down because now I have to see the dietitian, so I need to have something for her. So, yeah. Um, I am back on my fitness pal. Um, even if I don't check in every day, I fill out for the days that I've missed because, like I said, I do remember. So, the last two days, I have been taking in a lot of calories. I did post, like, an almost like an 1,100 calorie salad. Like, it's just a salad. But the moment I added ham and cheese, um, what else did I add to it? Oh, and eggs? Forget it. It was, like, kaput. It, like skyrocketed in calories but there was only 20 grams of carbs but like 70 grams of protein which probably didn't absorb all in my body i think it's no more than like 40 grams that absorbs at a time in your body so whatever it was delicious though but anyway so um she put me on some vitamins and let me know down below or message me if you guys have been put on these vitamins after bariatric surgery of any sort um she gave she made me she made me she gave me the prescription for vitamin d 50,000 units and i'm going to be taking this once a week so i took it today and this capsule it's kind of weird i like that it's a gel capsule because I, I think i can tolerate it and it's a green capsule it's pretty cool isn't it um it went down easy. I don't think it had a good aftertaste, but whatever. Um, there's worse things. So, yeah, I take these once a week. And, I don't know, 50,000 units. That sounds something serious. So, yeah. So, vitamin D, 50,000 units, once a week. Um, she also told me to take uh, vitamin B12, 1,000 milligrams daily. So, I picked this up today at Target. This is kind of like a little mini haul, huh? And these pills are, like, purple. You know, I hate, I love nature made bottles because they're like, like reflective bottles, but you can't see what the pill looks like. They don't even post a picture on it on the outside. So the bio, the biotin, the B12, this is a thousand milligrams. It's like a lavender pill. Put that back in. So I'll be taking this daily. And I picked up biotin 2500 um, MCGs. Uh, these are like a 90 day supply of both. These are pink and they're the same. I made sure I picked up the liquid soft gels because I knew that that would go down easier. And because I can't tell what's in the other bottles and they sound really heavy, I wasn't even going to try it because sometimes I still get stuck on taking certain pills, even like a regular Tylenol. So it's, I can't even imagine taking something after I have the sleeve done and just being pissy about it because it got stuck. So yeah, so I'm taking bi biotin. So I started taking these two days. So maybe that's kind of why I've been feeling like hot flashy. Like, I don't know. I've just been feeling off. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm still looking for a multivitamin that I can take every day um, and not feel... Like, I would rather swallow something. <laughs> it sounded so awful. I would rather swallow a pill than chew a pill, if you get to my drift. But these, like, pills are like horse pills. So if you guys know of any, like, tablet or gel cap, like, multivitamins, which I doubt there really is, um, let me know. I need help. <laughs> um, I've done the gummies, but I don't know. Like, they don't come with as much. And they're just sometimes a little bit more expensive. And they don't have as much nutrients as a regular multivitamin does. So that's my whole beef with that. But anyway, this is my week 200 million something or other. <laughs> I'll, of course, have it linked in the description. Or I'll just put lap band update, yada, yada, yada. So, yes, as of now, we are considering the sleeve. And we are working me up to get the sleeve. So, yes. And I'm going to be compliant on my meds. Oh, and... I wanted to show you guys an app that I got that helps me, that reminds me to take my meds. And I can't find it. Oh, there it is. It's called MediSafe. 
it's called MediSafe. And oh, my friend Alicia. Hey, boo. Sorry, I gotta take you down. So it's called MediSafe. And of course, I have an Android. And you pretty much just take the pills. Like right here, it says Biotin scheduled for 8 o'clock. It's really, really cool. You can skip your meds. Um, and what it does is when you set your reminder, it, it just gives you like, the sound of it is like a rattle of like a pill. So like that. And it reminds you, it reminds me every day at 8 a.m. to take my um, high blood pressure pills. So I've been doing that. And then I just added all my vitamins. So this is a really cool app. And it's called, because I always forget the name and I just said it, MediSafe. And it looks like, I don't know. Damn it. It's a little teal and I don't know, it looks like a barcode. So it's half teal and half barcode. Yeah, that's the icon. I don't know if you guys can see that. I won't know until I edit it. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for my update. Yeah. Oh, and my fitness pal. I use my fitness pal. Oh my god, I'm scattered all over the place. Anyway, I love you guys. I'm gonna go film another video, a beauty related video, um, before my night is over. But I will update, upload this tonight. Just don't know if it's going to be tomorrow, Wednesday. But right now it's Tuesday, 10.30-ish. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys. And I hope this video is informative. Bye.